Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. I'm out here on this absolutely beautiful summer day in what we have found to be one of our favorite spots in the morning. We like to sit out here on the porch and watch the hummingbirds play. She's waiting for the hummingbirds to fly by. Sitting peacefully in the morning light. Asking nothing in return. Waiting for the hummingbirds to fly by What a most beautiful smile What a most beautiful smile We can sit out here for hours and hours sipping our, our coffee and just really enjoying nature and what it has to offer and the, the entertainment that these cute little birds have. They're one of her favorites too. What we're going to be doing today is showing you kind of how we mix up our own hummingbird feeder food so that we can continue to feed them and have them coming back around for many, many more days to come. First of all, what, uh, what do we have here? We have four cups of hot water and two cups of sugar. You okay. always need half the amount of the water that you put in. And the water needs to be hot so it can... D Dissolve the sugar. Yeah. Yep. So you could make less of a mixture or more just depending on how much you need. Mm -hmm. What we have found is that if you use your standard tap water, if you're on city, a lot of times they'll put in chemicals like fluoride and even some chlorine to kind of keep it clean. That's not the best for hummingbirds. It'll do, but it's not the best. So if you have an opportunity to go and get some bottled water or some distilled water and you can use that, that'd be better. We're on a well. So this is just the natural water from our area. We've not done any chemical treatments to it. It's all nice and clean. So we should be able to just put this right in there, right? So go ahead and show us how you dump it in there. So you need to be stirring it when you mix it. Okay. So that, well, or at least that's how I do it. So that the sugar gets everywhere instead of sitting in one spot. And then it for a while until it dissolves and sort of becomes a lot more clear and it's not as white because all of the sugar has dissolved. Gotcha. Looks like it's starting to dissolve already. Yep. And it doesn't have to be all the way dissolved as long as most of it is. Gotcha. Okay. You think that's good? Mm -hmm. All right. So now that we've got this nice sugary nectar mixed up, just water and sugar. Mm -hmm. Nice and clear, you can kind of see the spoon through that very well. Um, now we're gonna put it in our feeder, right? Now, some of the hummingbird food that you can find at the store is red. Why, why haven't we used that? The red dye will harm the hummingbirds, but it attracts them, so. So it's probably a better idea to make up clear food and a, a clear nectar for them and just use a red hummingbird feeder. And that's what we have back over here. I'm gonna go see if I can brave the bees and collect this hummingbird feeder. I'll be right back. All right, so here's our feeder. Got all kinds of plants growing up on it. But it's just a red little feeder and uh, hooked up there on this shepherd's hook. Ooh, little wasp. Yeah. Ants all over it too. All right. So here we go. Didn't find any bees, well, but there was a few ants. Ant. So this will just flip right upside down. <laughs> Ew, grody. And pour all the dead ants out of it. That's not going to pour all the dead ants out. It's going to be way more. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Bunch of dead ants. Don't get bit. I just feel bad for the hummingbirds. They drink this. Yeah, that's grody. So how do we clean that out? Uh, the hose. The hose. You want me to just hose it out? Just rinse it out really good? Yeah. We'll just take and clean all these dead ants out of here. Turn on the hose. That looks 
looks like it works well. Yeah, now we got a fountain. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that we've got our hummingbird feeder all nice and clean and all the dead ants and everything cleaned out of it, we should be nice and healthy. The hardest part, I would say, is pouring it in. So I will let you do the honors, my dear. I'm going to fill it all over your hand. Would you like to hold this instead? Nah. Okay. Just be gentle. There we go. Nice and slow. And it's full. And there we go. And then this will just screw on the top or the bottom, depending on which way you're looking at it. Just to sit on. And sit up like that. And there we go. There we go. We're all nice and full. So now we can go put it back. You want to go hang it back up or do you want me to? Yeah. All right. There's a flippy on me. All righty. There we go. All right, friends, that's about all the time that we've got for you. But uh, yeah, that was a quick, simple little mix of sugar and water to make some nectar for our, for our hummingbirds. So we'll really enjoy that. I'm sure that they'll enjoy that too. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love you, sweetie. Love Thanks you. for helping me out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining in any way, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Let us know that you liked it. And uh, what else should they do? Subscribe. Ah, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. See more of what we have going on here on the homestead. And hey, have a blessed day. We'll see you on the next one. All right, now you got to clean up this mess. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs>